this is one of the dining seats that has to be covered with new fabric. To measure the fabric needed, measure the seat on its widest part, add the thickness of the frame on all sides, and allow about 3 inches of extra fabric around the seat to grip and pull. Even though this fabric does not have to be centered, there are elements in the design that has to be the same for all the 8 seats. First, put temporary staples on the back of the wider side of the seat so it can be used as a stable base. With the wider side at the bottom, I smooth the fabric with my hands at the same time pulling the fabric upwards to get rid of loose fabric. Then, I secure with staples. I use my hands to pull the fabric up, at the same time rolling the fabric over the edge and pulling it down. Then I check that the design pattern is in place. For the sides, once again, smoothen the fabric and secure with staples. Now heading towards the end of this side, I pull the fabric with my whole hand directing the fabric down and stapling it about 3 inches from the corner. I do the same for the other side, smooth the fabric taut, roll it around the edge using my whole hand to pull the fabric. First, we do the back corner. This is a good place to start to build confidence before doing the front corners. Pull the fabric as tight as you can. For this type of fabric, I normally put two staples. Next, we mark a square outside of the staple. I am using a marker for demonstration purposes. We cut this off to avoid the bulking of the fabric in the corners. We will see more examples of this later. Now we do our first fold. I am pulling the fabric around the corner for a smooth and tight fit. As I pull the fabric on top, I don't want the fabric underneath to move, so I need to staple it in place. Then, I cut the excess fabric under the fold to avoid lumps. Now, I pull the fabric again and staple the edge of the fold with the fabric underneath so everything is nice and tight. No loose folds. Then, staple to secure the fold. For the next fold, staple the fabric underneath for a tight fit around the corner. Fold the fabric over and staple. Staple to fill the gap. You don't have to staple the fabric underneath if you are using a thinner material. The cut edges are under the fold because it makes a better finish for the project and avoids fraying. Sometimes, with the thicker material, you need to lightly tap the fold flat and then secure with staples.
for the front fold, I make sure the fabric is smooth with no loose fabric. The front of the seat has a big overhang from the chair frame. The overhang measures about 2.5 inches from the edge of the chair frame. This is a good way of holding the seat by tucking it under your arm. This allows for an even tighter grip on the fabric, making it easier to smoothen the fabric and to give it a tighter fit. You can actually feel a lot of bulk when doing the fold. That's why we cut as much fabric under the folds to avoid lumps in the corners. Here is an example where you need to remove a staple to release the puckering of the fabric. After removing the staple, just smooth the fabric out and staple again. And here's the completed set of eight seats. Thanks for watching.